Hello to another drink with Eddie Irvine. Um, good morning, Eddie. Morning. Um, I'm on another uh, Gösta Radler. Although I have to admit, I, I can't. I can't lie uh, to the people watching. Um, it's water in there because I had a drink without Eddie Irvine last night. Um, Mine's Carlsberg. <laughs> and there's no water in there. Let's just clarify that. No, it's all right actually. <laughs> I don't mind having a drink first thing in the morning. I'd like a, for a while, I'd have a glass of red wine first thing in the morning. It was fantastic. And then I just stopped it. I don't know why I stopped it. I should maybe start it again. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> whatever you like. Eddie, um, we were just talking in, a, in an episode we recorded previously about Luis on, on Ellen DeGeneres. Um, and he was talking about Michael peeing into his car. Now, um, Basically, you know, knowing Formula One, it's nothing unusual. We know that Johnny Herbert was a, a, a specialist in peeing into the car. Um, and I know that some girls might be watching, but still, did you ever do it? Oh, yeah. Loads of times. It's normal. But, I, you know, because what you do is before the race, you load up with as much fluid as you can. And then, you know, you see the drivers going to the bathroom before the, the race off the grid. So you, you're really hydrated. So it's, it's kind of normal. Um, I remember even in sports cars you did it. I remember with Ratzenberger, <laughs> I did a stint and I peed in the car and I got out of the car and I was trying to dry the seat and Ratsy grabs me and throws me out of the way and, uh, and he jumps in and uh, I was laughing my head off at this, you know, <laughs> and then I never told him until a couple of years later we were in Tokyo or a year later we were in Tokyo and uh, we were all out and we were all drinking and I, we were talking about, and he brought up the story about how I was like drying the seat after I'd driven the car, you know, and how it had lost us like two seconds or three seconds. I goes, dude, do you realize why I was drying the seat? <laughs> so he stopped laughing then. <laughs> yeah. But I, looking at it from the outside, um, you, you just said you're, you're drinking a lot to, to be hydrated for the race, but, but looking at it from the outside, just how difficult can it be not to pee for two hours? I mean, uh, the guys watching probably, um, I mean, they're going to the movies, they don't need to pee. Um, it's, yeah, but they're not drinking, like I would drink, you know, several liters of water before the race, you know, so I don't know about you, if I drink water, I go, I, you know, if I go to the bar, I'm like going to the bathroom, like I'm a, a cokehead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and you had a glass of red wine in the morning. Not, not when you were driving, was red it? Red wine's not that uh, <laughs> diuretic. You know, that's why I would drink wine more than, if, you know, if you drink beer, beer's lethal for me. I just go to the bathroom constantly if I drink beer. So red wine would be great. You know, it's, it's healthy. It gives, it's got a few carbs in there and uh, it makes you feel good. So you start the day off in a really good way. But I haven't done that in years, to be honest. I haven't done that in probably five, six years. But I should definitely think about it again. Cause it's, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> While on topic, Eddie, um, any other embarrassing habits come to mind? Either your own or from, from other drivers or team bosses? I don't think that's embarrassing. I don't think anything is embarrassing. I'm like, you know, what, is, what we do is that's what we do and that's all there is to it. Yeah, so l l let me ask the question differently. Uh, anything other people might think could be embarrassing? I can't think of other people. Um, no, that, I think that would be the, I don't think there's anything more unusual than that really, it's, you know, <laughs> you get in the car, you drive until you need to pee and you pee until, and then you drive, you know, um, it was actually, you couldn't pee whenever you brake, that was interesting, whenever you braked, the seat belts would pull up tight, the crutch straps would pull up tight and you couldn't pee, you only pee under acceleration. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Eddie, um, this one will be aired, um, <laughs> you just wanted to say something more. I said not many people know that. Okay. You know, pee under acceleration. <laughs> yeah, so this is valuable information we're doing yeah. here. <laughs> Eddie, this will be aired on the Sunday before the Mexican Grand Prix. Um, and Nico Rosberg needs two second places and one third place now to win the championship if Lewis wins them all. You, you kind of been in a, in a similar situation in, in 99. What, what's your advice to Nico in terms of um, managing his approach for the weekends? Nico would be a lot more prepared than me. Um, you know, I had one crack at it in a car that wasn't really fast enough to win the world championship. So, um, and Nico's got a lot more experience winning races. And, um, and so uh, I'm sure he's more than capable of coming up with the answers. You know, he's had a fantastic season, uh, fantastic last few races, except for obviously the very last one. But, um, um, 
Mexico is a great race. He won it last year. Um, um, and anything can happen, you know. Tw he's not relaxed. Either. How many points is it now between them? Uh, Twenty-six. Twenty-six. So you know, that's a, a victory and a tenth, basically. If... Yeah. So that's easy to happen. So it's all up for grabs still. Lewis is still in there with a very, very strong chance. Would you say if if Nico wins it, would you say he's a deserved champion? Because you know the reception of people is Luis is the more talented guy. Yeah, but you know. The most talented guy doesn't always win. Look at Michael. Michael didn't win in 90, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. You know, Michael didn't win any of them. Um, and well, 94, 95 he did. But, but when he started racing Ferrari, he didn't. Oh. Yeah, that was the Benetton years. 90, 96 he joined Ferrari. But well, whatever, I get your point. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it was 2005, 2006. Massa won. Or not Massa. Um, Alonso. What? Alonso one, yeah, yeah, right, you're right, yeah. So, uh, yes, so uh, he's probably not just as talented as Lewis, but he's done a fantastic job, um, and he deserves it. If he wins it, he deserves it. Just, you know, whoever wins it, they deserve it. That's it, end of story. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you wish for one of them to be champion, or, or don't you care at all? I, um, I really don't care. Um, I think they both, whoever wins it deserves it and that's it. You know, Lewis to win, would that be four in a row or three in a row? Three in a row? Three in a row, yeah. Three in a row. So Fourth you know, overall. Three in a row is pretty special, you know, um, but for Nico to get his first championship, um, that's pretty special for him. Um, um, I don't know which would be better, to be honest, for Formula One. For Wouldn't make any difference to me. Um, would it make any difference to... Make a big difference to Nico, make a little bit of a difference to to, to Lewis. So um, Mercedes probably doesn't don't care. Um, all good. <laughs> Whoever wins it, good luck to them. All right. Thanks a lot, Eddie Irvine. Um, and now go enjoy a, a glass of red wine. My yeah. suggestion okay. for the day. Well, I don't a glass of beer and a glass of red wine is what we're doing. I'm not. <laughs> not I just glass of red wine tomorrow. I'll start that regime again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Eddie. Bye-bye. Take care.